Hi, I'm Denis Gagné, and I'm here to introduce uh, the digital enterprise graph from Trizotech. Uh, Trizotech has repackaged its application into uh, a digital enterprise suite, and the digital enterprise graph is what supports it. So as, as organizations are becoming digital enterprise, uh, they're using a lot of new emerging technologies, and that creates some problem in remaining process, customer, knowledge, and innovation central. Uh, with this transformation, we're getting a lot of data pouring in from different sources. And the problem is how do we integrate and translate all this data into some relevant knowledge? So we have line of business managers, we have enterprise architects, we have business architects, business analysts, all providing their own perspective into this mix using their own particular view. So business executive and line of business manager are focused on growth of the enterprise. They create plan, they outline strategies, tactics, and goals, and assign responsibility to actually achieve these. Then we have the enterprise architects, which documents the conceptual blueprint of the organization. They structure the capabilities, the information, and the technological infrastructure, all with the goal of creating value for the organization. We then have the business architects who ensure effectiveness in realizing this transformation and the innovation. They promote a com common understanding and they work on alignment between the business model and the operating model. And finally, we have the process analysts who create these process and case model either for documentation, enactment, or automation. And they want to analyze how things are done to ensure more efficiency and quality. And that is exactly the problem, is we have all these different stakeholders coming with terminology, methodology, tools, and standards. And all these, the standards are helping, but only within one community. The real world is not about all structured, aligned tables. The real, the real world is really messy. And the real world is really all about complex relationship and interconnection. So that, how do we capture the real world? So we propose that graph is a good way to do that. So graph is a simple yet really powerful node link structure that enable loose coupling between entities. So this provides us with this meaningful connection between all the different business elements. Some of the graph technology already in use that you may be aware, we have the social graph from Facebook, the knowledge graph from Google, the office graph from Office, which is just recently coming out, and now today I'm introducing the digital enterprise graph from Trizotech. Our digital enterprise graph is basically populated by the who, what, when, where, how, and why of the organization. So we're trying to take a full global picture rather than a punctual view of things. And this uh, graph provides us with a global uh, unified business context enabling agility, innovation, and transformation all powered by the semantical layer that is under. Now, to this contributing, to this graph, where we have not only Trizotech tools that are contributing to it, but we also have third-party tools that are also contributing into this graph. And we call these accelerators. So we have accelerators for business architecture, accelerators for enterprise architectures, for reference frameworks, for process mining tools, and even for ontologies. And all these can be called upon to help break the white page syndrome or pull together everything. So one of our tools is the Discovery Accelerator. And the Discovery Accelerator grabs all the information from the business people. And the intent is to talk to them with the language they know, which is the balanced car car, Kanban, et cetera. We also have the, uh, the BPMN modeling tool. And the BPMN modeling tool helps you, as an analyst, to draw, model, simulate and animate your processes so that you can have a process execution uh, to go forward. Today I'm also very uh, excited about introducing a new tool that we call the Insight Analyzer. And the Insight Analyzer is working with the graph as first class citizen. It allows you to integrate, analyze everything. So with this enterprise graph, we're making good use of graph theory, semantic web technology, so that we can ensure that we can support really the next generation of smart digital enterprises. 
So this is a, a quick view of our suite of different tools uh, within the Trizotex uh, suite. And so the first tool I want to talk about rapidly is our Discovery Accelerator. And I demoed this a couple of years back. So you've noticed that we've repackaged all the tools to have a common, simple interface that is uh, very recognizable by all the different people. So one of our challenge that we have, and mostly with the business uh, community, is how do we break the white page syndrome? So we did a couple of things for that. So one of them is starting from existing documentation. So I can start from existing documentation, and I can just go and grab entities of interest to me. So for example, EU Rent is an actor of interest to me. Rent's car is an activity of interest to me. And then I go back to this board view, which is I, I, I refer to it as sticky note on steroid. And then I have these entities that are being pulled out of that. And then I can start making relationship uh, between these entities very simply. So who actually uh, does rent car? It's EU rent. Uh, what is it about? I can say car. And then it adds these new artifacts. So I'm building this conceptual model iteratively as I'm looking at, at it from different point of view. So that's one way of breaking the white page syndrome. Another way of breaking the white page syndrome could be to use uh, one of the methodological or templates that people are used to in business. For example, uh, W5, Balance Core Card, or CIPOC, or CPOC, or depending on, and I'm sure the one with the accent here, so. Um, so another way of doing it is with what we call accelerators. So here I have different accelerators that are contributed. I have a case-wise business model. I have a Sparks EA enterprise architecture model. I have the APQC and I have a couple of the APQC frameworks. I've just loaded two, the cross industry one and the banking one. I have a Fluxicon process mining results that is available to me. I have Panorama, which is a, an insurance framework. And then I can just go in there and uh, basically pull down so and drag and drop. And what that does is it pulls its model. And so in this case, this is a reference model. So I have all the documentation and all the links are already done between the business model and all this that is directly contributed in there. Now, what's interesting is we may call this, check it out, and we may not do this particular activity at our organization. Uh, but when I do that, check it out, still maintains its semantical relationship to its source of Panorama and exactly where in that framework it came from. And we can do the same with a business architecture, with an enterprise architecture. I can also quickly check alignment with these frameworks with just this little button here, which will tell me and highlight in my model what is aligned with what in these accelerators. So if I'm working towards aligning to a business architecture, to an enterprise architecture, or to a framework of reference, I can do that. So let me open something uh, with a, uh, a bit more data in it. So for example, let me, uh, okay, let me do a new balance car card. So now I want to do a balance car card. So I'm a business person, want to do a balance car card, say maybe, uh, Increase market share by 10%. And then I could build all my goals and structure them. And I can say, okay, so what are we going to do to increase market share? So now I'm falling into my strategy map. And I can say, well, uh, sell more car. And I can assign Bruce as the person that does it. As I'm doing this, it's introducing new collection of entities that are all interrelated. 
So I think you get the idea. So let me open. So here I have a more complete example, started from a balanced core card, and I have all my elements in there. And I'm going to use also, I'm going to drag and drop research market in here, which I didn't do there. And close this up. And now I'm going to say that this here is done by research market. So now I have this mixed mode of what I've done. You can also go into a table view where you can see proximity elements. And I don't have a lot of visual space on the screen. Sorry about this is a resolution thing. But I can look at all the activities that don't have a stakeholder assigned to or vice versa, the stakeholders that don't have activities assigned to them. That bears the question, are they really stakeholder in this? Am I missing activities? And I can do the same with uh, actors against, for example, uh, goals. And then I can do a full responsibility type of analysis of who's responsible, who's accountable for which goals. And I'm creating my full uh, model. Then. What I can do with that is I can export all this work, this conceptual model or blueprint, in BPMN, in CMMN, UML, XPDL, or Gold BPMN, which is the standard from uh, Whitespine. So if I do this, I export this balanced core card work that I just done, and I go into Whitestein and uh, import in an, ar an archive. And there it is. Finish. And let me go get to keep you in the same view. Uh, my financial goal. And here you can see that I have my goal of my financial goal. And I have this increased market which is connected to this research market uh, plan to actually reach that goal that I've created from that. So, so then I can move into an execution of goal-oriented execution. I can also go to uh, BPMN rather than go to GoBPMN or UML if you're supporting software development exercise. And then in BPMN, I can do the same thing. And I forgot to show something. I'll go back as this is opening. So let me go sh back to my board view. Oh. And with the accelerator, I can then do my highlighting. And you'll see that in this particular model now, I've connected some elements of branch in my case-wise architecture, business architecture, I also interconnected elements into my panorama that I drag and drop there, which was interconnected. So now I'm aligned, I've started doing some alignment in there with my business architecture and with my framework, reference framework that I'm using. Here I have a BPMN model uh, for renting a car. And the same kind of capability are available to me. Uh, where I can do the semantical linking. And you see that this particular activity is semantically linked to a service in my enterprise architecture, which is the rent service that exists in my enterprise architecture. And then I can do the same alignment type of work, and it's going to open up and show me which element of my business architecture are used in my BPMN model and which elements of my enterprise architecture in terms of services that are used. So, so when you're worried about governance along your enterprise, with just a click of a button, it's done. Uh, so what, one of the big challenge we had was to make it so it's just a click of a button and very intuitive to uh, the end user. Uh, behind, there's all the magic of the semantical network that's providing you with that capability. Let me also show you very quickly uh, the insight analyzer. And so with the insight analyzer, 
I have a direct view of what's going on in my semantical layer. So in this particular view, in this graph view here, the elements that are at the center are my most interconnected elements. So they're actually uh, showcasing uh, my risk in terms of impact. If I go modify these elements, I'm going to impact the material. And then I have a file view which tells me which elements are which models, which elements are present in which particular file. So if I go and look at get customer information here. So get customer information, I can look at it from one level up and see that it's interconnected there. So let me So I have get customer information, I can look into the file structure and I see that this particular element is part of the activities of a model called process in a file called walk-in uh, rental. And then I can look at get information here and I can start looking where it's interconnected and yes I can play six degrees of Kevin Beacon with that. And then I can look and see that my get customer information not only is it part of my BPMN model, but it's actually semantically linked to another activity that is called check customer background in my discovery accelerator file. So I have a direct sense of what else is impacted. If I start working on this, what else do I have to impact? And I'm, I'm, I'm using a simple context here, but the semantical graph allows us to do uh, then some very powerful things in terms of machine learning, uh, inference and all kinds of high level queries. I think I'm going to stop my demo there so I leave time for questions. <laughs>